Hey everybody, Kevin Stone from ICBTV and theedgeonair.com. I am standing next to Noah Hathaway, who was a Treyu in the Never Ending Story, correct? Absolutely right, correct. So what brings you out to Comic-Con? This, this debauchery, you know? I've never been to Chicago, so I said, hell yeah, let's go, let's go meet some people and hang out and have a good time. So have you gotten to see a lot of the city? No, not yet. I got in late last night, so maybe later tonight I'm going to do that. So let me ask you this question. This is Falcor. It sure is. How real did that seem on set? Well, they had two versions. They had a, a neck and head, which articulated like you were flying, and then they had a 60-foot version that spoke and eyes blinked and I mean they, they did one hell of a job with it considering it was all animatronics. Is it actually as cuddly as it looks? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So do you get to see any of this stuff in any of these people that you acted with in this movie anymore? Not in the never ending story. I mean everybody kind of uh, disbanded and went and did their own thing but you know the last movie that I did is called Sushi Girl and uh, everybody probably hangs out once or twice a week which is unusual for a movie. Sushi Girl, can you uh, find that on Netflix? No, it hasn't been released yet. Uh, Sushi Girl will be released at the beginning of the year. It's like a grind, throwback to the Grindhouse movies. We got Mark Hamill and Tony Todd and Jeff Fahey and Danny Trejo and Michael Bean and uh, James Duvall. So we got, a, we got a crazy awesome cast. You know what? You really can't have a Grindhouse horror movie nowadays without Danny Trejo. True. <laughs> True. We got, him for, we got him for a day. He, he showed up because, you know... Uh, Electra and Elise, the twins from Machete, are, are really close with him, so they were they co-produced it, and uh, they had him roll up for a day. It was awesome. Right on. Um, one more question. I, I like to ask questions about the never-ending story, just because I gotta know about the rock biter. Yeah, the rock biter's awesome. That's the <laughs> rock biter. <laughs> Again, I mean, did it, was it as uh, alive on set as it was on camera? Yeah, they, you know, they, they really did an awesome job with the specials and the animatronics, and it's pre-CGI, so it gives it a sense of depth and reality that I don't think you have uh, nowadays, you know? There's just something missing. There's some something texture or tan, you know, that you, right. you don't feel nowadays. It's not tangible anymore, you know what I mean? You're not actually in the room with Yoda anymore, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately. And you know what? The, I think the performances, I think you can tell. They, they're, you know, they're not as, as real as they were when you had something to work with, you know? Absolutely. Noah Hathaway, thanks so much for talking to us today. Brother, thank you. My pleasure.